What's up everyone and happy Tuesday. I hope everyone is having a great day, a beautiful day, and a blessed day as always. So listen, listen, listen. I'm coming with a little bit of energy today because I feel so well today and it all stems from um me doing something that i don't like right so let's go ahead and get into this message so that we can get right in stay right so listen you know how i am like i'm the type of person like when i feel good like i like to you know give that energy out you know what i'm saying because that's what we all need we need someone to motivate encourage you know inspire us no matter where it comes from you know we just all need that in our lives so we all know the energy is transferable so i want to transfer some positive good energy unto you guys so last night um First and foremost, um, I was listening to a podcast from a preacher, Torrey Roberts. I forgot the name of the podcast, but you should go check it out because he's amazing. But in his podcast, he was talking about, um, you know, how to um, basically master your mind from the negative thinking on to positive thinking and just different ways that you can um, do this, right? And because I like the scripture that says, so as a man thinketh, so as a man thinketh, so is he. Because basically what you think, about yourself is how you are you know whatever you think about your life is how your life is so you know it's important right that we all work on the way that we think work on our mindset right because whenever you enter into life with a different mindset then your life will be transformed in such a way as well as you will be transformed in such a way. So for me, after listening to this podcast, um, I had already had in my mind to um, do cardio because for me, I do not like cardio. You know, as you know, I've been going to the gym for a little over a month now. Um, I do not like cardio. I don't, I can't stand it. And that's just what I've been telling myself. Like, they were like, you coming to cardio class? Mm -mm. I don't like cardio. Although I have done cardio twice before today when I went, it was like, I can't stand it. I'm like, oh, I'm dreading it. You know, one day I went and didn't even know it was cardio day. I was like, oh my gosh. But I did it and, you know, it wasn't too bad. But I just don't like cardio. So after listening to this um, podcast, I was like, okay, well, you know, I think I need to switch it up a little bit. Because I keep telling myself, like, I don't like cardio. I can't stand cardio. I'm not going to cardio, you know. And... Something clicked in my head and said, Keisha, well, just because you don't like it doesn't mean you might not need it, you know? And although, again, you keep telling yourself that you don't like it, you know, you are preventing yourself from receiving results that you can receive just by doing cardio. That's why I said, okay, that makes sense. And also, if I kind of switch it up a little bit and start telling myself something different, then I might actually begin to like it and I might actually become very, very good at it. So these are the thoughts that are starting to go through my head as I'm listening to this podcast. And then even after the fact, so I was like, okay, so I started telling myself something different. And it's another thing too for you to um, do things that you don't like because you are stepping outside of your comfort zone you are making yourself uncomfortable by doing something that you absolutely don't like or you hate right and with stepping out of your comfort zone you should know that greatness happens success happens breakthroughs happen just major changes happen whenever you do things out of your comfort zone whenever you take the initiative right to say you know what you know, this might be something that I don't like, but let me just see about it anyway. And that's what I did today. I went to cardio and it was, it was, yeah, you know, from some of the parts of the work got, workout, it was, it was tough, but I did it. And I feel so good from doing it because I walked into today with a different mindset. I didn't walk into it like, oh, I don't like cardio. I don't like cardio. I walked into it as if I'm going to be a beast at cardio. I'm about to be a beast at cardio. 
So that's what you got to do. You got to tell yourself different, something different than what you've been telling yourself about whatever that thing is, because stepping out of your comfort zone and again, is going to allow you to expand yourself. Listen, whenever you do things to step outside of your comfort zone, God himself will start to expand and enlarge your territory because he sees that you have the capacity, right, to do things no matter how it makes you feel. Because whenever you begin to talk about the things that you don't like, like the negative things, like that comes with emotion. That's another thing that he was saying in the podcast. Like, you know, as you think, you know, emotions come behind that. So you often start to feel what it is that you think. And then oftentimes it's not a really good feeling. Like if I go into cardio, like nervous and scared and just like, oh, like dreading it, you know, I'm not going to perform at my best, you know. But if I go into cardio, like, you know, I'm going to be a beast at cardio, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm going to leave that workout feeling good good as I do today and feeling like I did something great. Like I did it, y'all. Listen, I did great today. I ain't even gonna lie. That would have the trainer told me to. I did good. So that's just what I want to encourage you to do. Like whenever you, you know, instead of constantly telling yourself, you know, something that you don't like, you know, if it's something that you can benefit from, if you do it anyway, then I want you to just do it anyway. Because again, you will not begin to understand, you know, how things can change, you know, once you begin to change your mind. Listen, the mind, the mind, the mind is is our roadmap to life. Like nothing else in our body will operate without our brain. That's why people who become brain dead basically have to get pulled off the machines because if the brain is not working, then the rest of the body is not working at all. It's a connection. The brain is the is the main thing that holds the entire body together. So therefore you have to get your mind right. And the scripture that I love is um, Romans 12, 2, which says that do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So again, you have to transform your mind. You have to renew your mind so that you can be transformed, so that your life can be transformed, so that you can start to do things that you never even thought that you could do because of the things that you have been telling yourself or thinking about yourself for so long. So it is time to renew your mind. This is what I want to encourage everybody. Start to renew your mind. Stop thinking so many negative things about yourself. You have to work towards whatever it is that you need to work towards so that you can get a handle right on the negative things that you think about this overall um anything that kind of hinders you in life that puts you at a um a, st a standstill that kind of puts you in the like an uncertain place because you just feeling like um no i'm not sure i don't know i don't think you know again these are things that should not be in your vocabulary you got to change your vocabulary around to i can i will i should i am i'm it whatever but you have to rechange what you think and what you say about yourself in your life so that again you can expand your capacity to so many different levels to so many different areas to so many other people because again when other people start to see like okay if this is working for this person if they just did this anyway and you know why not what's what's gonna stop me you know me stopping me is what's gonna stop me because I'm too busy over here to keep telling myself that, uh, I don't know, I just can't, I'm not motivated, I don't know, it's hard, I just, eh, enough. Enough with the excuses because the excuses ain't doing nothing but excusing you from doing something that you should be doing. Listen, renew your mind. Because if you renew your mind, you will be transformed. And your life will be transformed in such a way that you never even thought was possible. So listen, I hope that this message has helped, inspired, reached, touched, blessed anyone who it reaches. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.